off to Dunkery Beacon to go and meet uh, Barry. It's a beautiful day again and we're going early because uh, possibly there could be uh, lots of traffic out later on tonight or this afternoon. So I've just dropped a parcel off another sale on eBay good old eBay oh, let's make sure my pockets are all done up get a mooch on because I'm beating Barry at 9.45 35 at the moment so I think it's going to be lovely barbecue weather today it's um, nearly quarter to 10 it's starting to warm up already and we've just got to watch out for uh, any idiots on the road They are about, you know. Oh, did you see that pheasant decided to run out in front of that bloody truck then? That did not think they wide upright those pheasants are they so the pheasant decides to run out just as a bloody um, Toyota high oh, yes, just whatever is coming along it does feel nice to be out on the bike cooler in the valleys Warning Vehicles in middle of road I have priority Which is nice Nice to have some priority in one's life for uh, big old trucks in the middle of the road so I'm hoping that I've got my cameras set up okay now because I took a lot of footage when I was on tour last year and all you can see is the uh, petrol tank and the uh, road is okay if you like petrol tanks and just watching tarmac go by I think the idea of it is to get uh, the scenery I've always probably got it pointing up to the sky now but uh, we shall see climb it a bit higher now long did it there's Barry right Barry's over there Everybody wave to Barry. Oh no, you're not, you're not, um, Barry wave to everybody. <laughs> and we're going to keep a strict two meter distance, which is uh, 
It's the order of the day. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, you? Yeah, well, I'm about a stone bloody heavier, which I'm not happy about. That's because of the camera. <laughs> What have you brought? A sandwich and a couple of bits of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't be able to get any food out there, will we? No, but yeah, I bought a drink and I bought my walking shoes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't bring my walking shoes, but it's only um, 500, 500 meters. Yeah, yeah, it's only a third of a mile. Have you seen the pillbox? Pillbox. Yeah. Okay, Barry's going to lead. <laughs> Which is nice. Oh, feels like old times. We're in about week eight of lockdown because of this COVID-19. And part of the restrictions have been eased up, so we're now allowed to go out as far as we want, but only in England because Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland are still in total lockdown. And we can go as far as we want in England uh, for exercise or for a picnic, which is nice. So that's what we're doing, we're going to go for some exercise, observe social distancing. busy at the moment. It's a tad chilly. That'll be the wind fill track. Wind fill whatever. Wind chill factor. So you go through these uh, overhanging trees you can feel it's a lot cooler as well. But every hour goes by it'll warm up a couple of degrees. It's going to be about 15 or 16 today so it's okay.
that the, the, where, where that car park was where that car park was yeah, that's the path lead up to Dunkery Beacon so if we just turn around here up here somewhere yeah, okay. Yeah, when I, when I look, this is the car park and then you walk up that... I know this is the proper car park, but that's a hell of a hill. It's only 500 metres. Well, we could stop. No, it's 500 metres from the road to the beacon, <laughs> from that car park at the top, that lay-by. It's more, more like a bloody mile from here. <laughs> Bastard. Okay, so... That's... Uh, Dunkery Beacon up there. You might be able to see the path just up right up there somewhere. He's talking to himself again. Well, we've made it. Uh, we've come <laughs> oh, about 100 foot. No, we, we've, got, we've got at least 200 <laughs> meters, I would say. Really? Um, <laughs> but look at that. Isn't, aren't we lucky, eh? Yes, we. We could live in worse places, that's what I must yeah. say. What do you reckon that's over there? Do you reckon that's um, Porlock or something? What over there? Uh, well, you can see Hinkley. Oh, that's Hinkley, is it? Bloody yeah, hell. in the distance there, that's Hinkley. So we're looking back along your bit of coast. Yeah. Really. If you, if you carry on up and down, go down the other side, yeah. which I don't recommend on a Harley, mm -hmm because it's very steep going down and twisty. That's, you know, it's quite a pucker, a pucker <laughs> moment, really, <laughs> going down there. Um, you end up in Porlock. Oh, bloody hell. So, so I guess mine heads down there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to tell when we get to the top, if we ever get there. We will get there, slowly. Yeah. Right, we've uh, gone about 300 metres and we're lost. So we're, <laughs> we're now going to go across country over there because this path here evidently is the River Avril path. It's, yes. Um, and the path we want is over just in that direction somewhere. So we're going we're gonna to go cut across country, sod it. If we, Let's if go. If we just, just sort of generally head towards yep. the top of the hill, yep. we should cross the other foot. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I think we're nearly halfway up. And uh, look at that. I don't think I can see any roads or anything. Just fields of green and hedges and hills and you can see over there in the distance you can see Wedding Cross. And then we've got to just get to that mount there then. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it, eh? They've got the right path. Yeah, there's a couple of people over there, right in the distance. I don't know if you can see them on the camera here. Probably That's not, the path we should have. It's quite a wide angle, isn't it, that thing? <laughs> you can zoom in, but... Yeah. No, they've, they've, they've... Right, we're at the crossroads now. That goes down, I don't know where. That goes something somewhere. Like, something like Arbor Shut. Something like that, yeah. Something peculiar, isn't it? And now that's the last bit, and just the top there, you can see the beacon. And then we're going to come back down that ridge there, and um, yeah, it'll be all downhill from there. So a last bit, Barry. You're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> if I go purple and collapse. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll. Roll you over into some thick heather. <laughs> we don't want you obstructing the path, do we? 
it's true the beacon is definitely a lot closer right now if we're all quiet we might be to hear the lock lovely isn't it mm. i mean look at that that is just a patchwork quilt yeah. of colours and fields and hedgerows it is. and woods yeah. and the same that way as well <laughs> and over there is Welsh land <laughs> I mean look at that it's worth it just for that isn't it and we're like well from my house this is pff, quarter of an hour away 20 minutes away yes, it's quite nice so we come all the way up here right I've downloaded all the, all the good routes off it, all the UK yeah, I'm routes. I'm going to look at that later, yeah. Yeah. So we walk up here, right, miles from nowhere, okay. Have a look. Someone has come up here and fly-tipped. Look. Bunch of old building rubble up there. Yeah. The builder should be ashamed of himself. So we're going to dismantle it one, yes. one brick at a time. We're going to bring it down one brick at a time as well, <laughs> down to the bottom. <laughs> We'll see you in a minute, get a closer look. Barry. Right, Barry. What, 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 what? I don't, I, don't, I don't reckon we should go any further. I reckon we should go back now. Yeah, do you I mean? think it's too far. Of, it's too far. Yeah. Because we've been searching for the beacon for hours and hours and hours, and we've gone <laughs> all over Exmoor, and I can't... It's true, we must have walked about five times. I reckon we've gone we right past to. it a couple of times, and it's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, I can't think. Um, look, we've walked oh, all over this, look. <laughs> and all, um, the way along that path all over that there. Rid of that path there and back down the hill and up again. Yeah. And um, it's got to be here somewhere. Round and round. Shall we look on Google Maps? <laughs> <laughs> oh blimey! <laughs> there it be. We found it. <laughs> yeah, but this has been recently put here, hasn't it? Look, that's quite new stone that is. Right. Oh wow. Do you reckon it was worth it, Barry? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful, eh? Let's go on the other side and I'm going to take a couple of photos. Look at that. Yeah, that's Welsh land over there, look. Let's go into the Bristol Channel over there. Alright, photograph time. Right, we're back off after a lovely walk up to Dunkery Beacon and back. So I'll just wait here for Barry. That was a lovely uh, morning. Nice walk up to the uh, to the beacon. And walking down was very pleasant. So double whammy, got out on the bikes, and and we had exercise, which is nice. When we got there, there wasn't too many people there, so uh, we weren't um, interrupted by anybody. We took the wrong path first, we also had to go um, over some heather to another path, but um, it wasn't that bad. It's the first time I've been to Dunkery Beacon and beautiful views from there. Oh, I don't know why I've not been up there more really. Because it's not too far to drive to. Um, I think the dog would like it up there. Maybe not the stony walk on the way back. 